Mixing mortar. Quick read mortar mixes can be successfully mixed by hand or machine mixed. The size of your project will often determine which method you choose. Hand mixing can be done in a mortar tub or wheelbarrow with a shovel or hoe and is suited for small projects. A mortar mixer should be used when machine mixing mortar for larger projects. Mortar mixers are designed for fine sand mixes and utilize rotating blades inside a stationary tub. When working with mortar mixes, rubber gloves and safety glasses should always be worn during mortar mixing and placing procedures. When machine mixing mortar mixes, it is important to add the water to the mixer before adding the dry mix. Typical mixers can hold up to three bags of 80 pound mortar mix. Measure the recommended water amount for the number of bags to be added to the mixer and pour half the water into the mixer. An 80 pound bag of mason mix will require about five quarts of water. Add the dry mix into the mixer and allow the mortar to mix for about a minute. Then add the remaining water as necessary. Continue to mix for three to five minutes until a uniform, workable consistency is achieved, and then turn off the mixer. Letting the mortar sit undisturbed for about three to five minutes will allow the fine aggregate in the mix to fully saturate. If this step is not followed, the mortar can quickly become firm and unworkable. If additional water is needed, add small amounts of water sparingly. The proper consistency is achieved when the wet mortar will hang on a trowel held at a 90 degree angle. Adding liquid cement color to a standard gray mortar mix can turn it into a decorative mortar to match or contrast the color of brick or block. One 10 ounce bottle of quick read liquid cement color will color up to two bags of 60 or 80 pound mason mix or mortar mix. To achieve a consistent color, mix the liquid cement color into the mixing water before adding it to the mix. Using the same water to color ratio will help maintain color uniformity from batch to batch.